Special Agent Pennington. And I know all about you, Mr. Ledbetter. Or should I say, Big Carl? I have a mountain of evidence that proves you're the head of the Dixie Mafia in Atlanta. <laughs> Is that right? Now who went and told you that, pretty girl? I have a confidential informant who is prepared to testify in open court. I'm not as scared of you as you think, Big Carl. He's going to take the stand, look that jury dead in the eye, and tell them all about the large quantities of cocaine you've been buying up from Arturo Diaz and turning it around and selling it to Andrew Perry, a known street dealer and pimp over on the south side. Hmm. You know what you got is some low-level punk you guys popped and now you flipped and he's decided to dime me out. That's what you got, jack shit. You might be right, Mr. Ledbetter, if that's all I had. But I can also prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you ordered the murder of a vice squad lieutenant. You had that scumbag meth dealer, Bobby Caitlin, take him out. You remember Bobby. He was on the hook to you because he had assaulted a former lover of yours. That madam, Vicki Stevens. <laughs> you know what? You got a nice rack, baby. I bet you a lot of fun out of that suit, ain't you? <laughs> yeah. Alright, you go ahead and laugh it up right now. Because listen to me, you smug bastard. You're not gonna be laughing when we get into court. Not only do I have evidence that implicates you, but I have a whole lot of witnesses that are willing to implicate your precious baby daughter, Jesse, and your enforcer, Lamar, and the disappearance of Manny Gonzalez. You remember Manny? He was with the Diaz family until he suddenly disappeared off the face of the earth. You know what I was sitting here thinking? I was wondering, how many of your bosses there behind that glass do you have to do to pull this assignment, baby? How many? You are pathetic. Let me make one thing really clear for you here, Big Carl. This is my case. I have been working with the CI for the past six months, and I have enough evidence to put you away for the rest of your sorry little life. You're a three-strike offender, aren't you there, Big Carl? You know what that means in this state? Life without the possibility of parole. So you laugh it up all you like, you talk about my bosses, because I'm gonna get the last laugh in this one. You're gonna spend the rest of your pathetic little life in prison. Who do you think your pretty little wife, Nadine, and that loser son of yours, Carl Jr., are gonna think about that. <laughs> you think you scare me? Charge me. My lawyer will have me out of here in 30 minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, that's where you're wrong. Now it's my turn to laugh, Big Carl. There is no bond on capital murder. The only way you are ever, ever coming out of prison is in a pine box. We'll see, baby. <laughs> Oh yeah, we will. Booty got a blue Cadillac. Who got a blue Cadillac? Baby got a blue fly, blue Cadillac. Got leather in the front and velvet in the back.